안녕하세요. 미사 웰즈과 임상철 원장입니다. 완성하오. 워스 웰 야커 위엔더 리넨장. Hello everyone. Happy New Year. My name is Sangcheol Lim. I'm a periodontist at Misa Well Dental Clinic. I'm happy to be with you, all of you, again in 2023 by a Dentium Live Surgery Show. As always, today's live surgery will be performed by Dr. Jung. The topic for today is narrow implantation and rich augmentation on defect area. You will be able to learn the basic yeah. principles of GBR and how to easily perform implant surgery on elderly patients. We will briefly do a review before we, re we move on the live surgery show. As I mentioned before, today's topic, narrow implantation and leech augmentation. About the patient information, 75 years old female patient, she wants to restore the function of his lost tooth. About the past dental history, two months ago, 22, 23, uh, teeth are extracted and number 36 implant fixtures are removed. Past medical history, non specific. This one is uh, the panoramic view before the extraction. As I mentioned before, number 22, crown and tooth separate, and number 23 also dislodges. So uh, this both of tooth are removed, should be removed before the surgery. And about the number 36 areas already installed the implant got the peri-implantitis. So it is also uh, should be removed. The after extraction and remove the implant fixture, as you know, number, as you can see, number 22 areas got a big defect like this, vertical, maybe horizontal also. And about the CT, uh, combium CT view, so what about the number 22 and 23 defect areas? As you can see, a uh, little bit uh, uh, vocally depressed and uh, the damaged socket, as you know. And number 24 areas, very narrow, uh, sharp, thin, uh, uh, remained ridge. The distance between the ridge with us, 3.6 millimeter, so narrow ridge. And about the number 36 areas, uh, due to the extra, uh, extract of uh, installed implant, so have a uh, big defect, looks like here. The, actually, it is not so severe, the extreme defect. However, the, anyway, these areas need some another procedure like GBL. And this one is intraoral uh, portals of uh, today's patient. Uh, as you can see, number 22, 23 areas not complete healed and have some depression cause of uh, bone defect area. What about number 24? 24 is a little bit better compared to number 22, 23 area. So today, Dr. Zhang will have an implant fixture installation on number 24 area. The, however, this number 22 and 23 uh, depend on the real actual situation when the flap open. The uh, number uh, 36 areas, the shield reach, and number uh, today, number 36 and the 37 areas maybe uh, will have an implant, a brand new implant installation. The yeah. surgery plan is as a uh, follow. Implantation on number 24, 26, and uh, 36, and 37. All implant fixtures uh, used uh, a bright implant system, a bright a brand new implant system from Dentium Company. As you know, bright implant system have a two different line. First, bone level, the other, tissue level. So both of these implant fixtures are available, the narrow reach, and have some 
the compromised uh, situation. Rich augmentation on bone defect, about number 22, 20 area, 23 areas with osteogenograft genograft and collagen membrane to the barrier membrane. About the bright implant system, tissue level, as you know, uh, uh, the, actually, as uh, so many times, I already explained about these uh, implant systems advantages, this tissue level. This tissue level bright implant system got a uh, lot of advantages, like uh, simply simplified surgical procedures can be performed, and also top portion of implant picture have a built-in type screw abutment style. So, the exactly external connection style. This external connection means uh, the uh, sep the the marginal bone, the release, the marginal bone stress after final restoration. And the bright bone level, the unique is 10 degree. This one is not compatible to supraline and implantium fixture. The, however, there, this 10 degree, 3.7 deep connection gave, gave us a lot of advantages like uh, uh, excellent joint stability and the smaller uh, screw hole, and the, this aggressive uh, thread design is getting better, uh, poor bone getting better, the initial fixation on the poor bone qualities. Uh, Osteon Gino, these uh, graft materials came from bovine origin natural bovine bone grafting materials with osteoconductivity. So highly interconnected pore structures similar to human bones working as a scaffold and the highly induction, the conduction, the abilities for the making newly forming bone. And also complete removal of organic substances. It means prevent immunologic reaction so, uh, getting better newborn formation will be happen and will be performed. The collagen membrane too, the brand new upgraded version. Uh, the previous version, collagen membrane one, uh, get the lots of advantages. However, one the disadvantages the stiff, too stiff, and the sometimes easy to tear when we use like uh, pin fixation or some another the different technique like a sausage or burrito technique, we need the uh, resilient uh, uh, properties of a membrane. Unfortunately, however, uh, collagen membrane one uh, too stiff, so it is not satisfied to perform the procedure like a previous explained, like a burrito and sausage. So this upgrade version collagen membrane to satisfy this kind of uh, needs of uh, surgeon. Okay, uh, for more comprehensive understanding, uh, let me introduce a similar case. First, minimalism in narrow reach and extraction socket case. As you can see, uh, these areas uh, already extracted, like a very similar to today's case, uh, this uh, extraction socket site uh, ongoing uh, soft tissue healing, as you know, as you can see, the flap reflection and the, all the removing the granulation tissues. Sometimes Dr. Zhang is prepared to use this uh, straight hand piece round bar, the trimming and the, the surface, uh, bone surface uh, trimming and the activation. Uh, to the bone, the surface act, uh, the acti activate the bone surface. It means the better uh, the result to make a newborn formation after surgery. And anyway, using this uh, straight round bar for removing all the granulation tissues and stimulate the surface of the bone and the implantation and bone grafting. At this time, Dr. Zhang used Austin 3 collagen for simplified GBR procedure. 
Uh, this Austrian pre collagen is current trend nowadays. Uh, this collagen I get born, the prevailed from the other companies also. So anyway, this Austrian pre collagen composed of uh, Austrian tree particles and the collagen binder gave, uh, gave us uh, 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 many uh, benefits like uh, easy molding and easy handling and the uh, collagen membrane fixation and sometimes we can use like collagen graft too uh, for promote the soft tissue healing okay and to implant a narrow diameter a bright tissue level implant installed with the GBR procedure about uh, 21, uh, 24 uh, site and uh, during the healing status the healing a uh, three week follow portal we can see the small particles the already inserted the grafted bone into the uh, socket and the defect area the final illustration before the final illustration uh, we can see the provisional to uh, manage the soft tissue, soft tissue molding, and the functioning. Okay, this one is final prosthesis. Very nice. Uh, Zirconia, uh, final lacerations. Two implant fixtures supported for uh, unit. The final lacerations of a zirconia is make it so beautiful and the patient satisfied and also the surgeon happy. So a second case, a similar second case, removal of fixture and implantation with the GBR procedure. As you can see, number 46 areas, failed implant are solitary remained underneath the bone, so flat reflection and using the trapine and removed already a failed implant fixture and some uh, another procedures was done like this uh, removing the granulation tissues and surface bone decontaminations and the make a proper position and uh, Austin D collagen first and implantation the collagen membrane used for wrapping around the remnant of the ridge with a GBR procedure and suture. So sometimes we can see like this, uh, the expose of the uh, membrane, the collagen membrane, but it doesn't matter. Cause of these uh, collagen membranes, higher the coordination of soft tissues and good the nature, the properties. So, uh, so fast healing even though the expose of the collagen membrane. So uh, it is not a serious situation, not serious situation. So uh, this one is a post-op panoramic view, number 45 areas installed and number 47 areas installed with uh, a bright tissue level, uh, sorry, bright uh, bone level implant fixture with a, a GBR procedure about number is a 46 area. This area is the failed implant exist area. Okay, the provisional lacerations first and the final lacerations uh, with the zirconia. So beautiful final lacerations are performed with like this uh, all whole the digital procedure. Okay, Oh, yeah, final illustrations, a panoramic view, looks like here. This one is after six months, follow-up, panoramic view. Very nice, good, the marginal bone stability was seen. Okay, let's move to surgery room. Yeah, Dr. Jung is starting with the uh, crystal incision with number uh, 15, the scalpel. Uh, crabricular incision here.
Okay. Uh, he uh, he is going to have a vertical incision on the major line angle of number twenty one twos. When we when we have uh, this kind of vertical uh, incision, you have to make a right angle the ninety degrees with the gingival margin, right? So cause of even distrib distribution of blood supply. Using the periodontal curate, uh, he is going to have a cross checking with this procedure. Sometimes uh, promote easy prep reflection and also the, the detecting the bone morphology underneath the soft tissues. Now here's prep reflection. Now he's going to have a flat reflection like this one. The flap is too tight. The contact underneath the periosteum. So at this time, we need a little bit more. The skillful technique is a necessary part to remove the granulation tissues and underneath this uh, the periosteum to full flap the reflection, full thickness flap reflection. Okay. Uh, the labial bone was gone, gone away. The before the surgery, uh, the brief review of today's case. Can you remember the CT view? about the 22, 23 areas uh, was a thin, very thin layer of labial bone plate on the CT, combium CT view. The, however, the actual situation like this, no labial bone plate. So this kind of uh, situations uh, frequently happen. So uh, uh, we need uh, uh, more experience about the surgery like this bone defect. The clean, clear cut and the clean, the clear flat reflection on the surgery site. A little bit palatal the flat reflection. The main vocal uh, Soft tissue flaps, full thickness flap, uh, reflected. Yeah. A root planning was performed. Root planning is uh, performing by Dr. Zhang using the periodontal curate. Yeah, this is sort of uh, uh, the action, like uh, removing the surface bone, the pathologic uh, bone, and the root planning is very important part to promote soft tissue healing. Okay. The softer bone with the granulation tissues are removed. Should be removed, used by like this, a sharp instrument. Okay, so using the ocean bind chisel, Dr. Zhang is going to have uh, removing the top portion of uh, the healed ridge on number 24 area. If you want to make uh, the flat reach before uh, starting the osteotomy. OK. 
Okay. Uh, using uh, the long bar, the trimming the laminar of uh, soft tissues, uh, the pathologic granulation tissues and surface bone. Uh, this sort of uh, action, the round bar, the trimming the surface of the bone, that I mentioned before, the promote, the bone, the remodeling, bone forming, the procedure. So, yeah. This round bar is so effective and make uh, faster removing the granulation tissues and the bone irregularity. Okay. As planned before the surgery, he will get the one implant for his patient, about number 24 area. Okay. So make a position. Make an indentation for proper positioning. The osteotomy on number 24 to connect with the uh, uh, blue, the rubber spacer. Uh, this one uh, came from the guide kit, the analog guide kit of a Dentium company. So we can see the number. It, the number means diameter of uh, blue rubber uh, spacer. So we can imagine the final lacerations diameter and the position of implant fixture, the computer to final lastration. So a very useful the devices, the freehand style surgery. Okay, uh, checking uh, using this uh, the parallel pin, checking the pass and checking the diameter of the final lacerations. Yeah, because of uh, narrow, thin ridges, Dr. Zhang is going to choose a narrower diameter of a bright implant system. Okay, the red done old osteotomy it just uh, cause of this uh, implant fixture diameter three point zero, so just only one two osteotomy uh, drill used for this implant fixture installation. Uh, this implant was three point zero diameter, eleven millimeter length. The bright tissue level implant have an auto stop function, cause of a neck portion have a divergency, and the combined with the uh, screw abutment built in type, screw abutment style. So neck portions gave us an auto stop function. So uh, the, it is uh, another uh, safety. Uh, prepared for us when you have a nervous area like uh, uh, lower the posterior area very close to the nerve canal uh, this uh, auto stop function the tissue level is make me free make us free to fear about the touching the underneath nerve canal and uh, sometimes we can use this auto stop function on the sinus uh, surgery, 
even though the smaller uh, bone volume of laminate, like a two or three millimeter, uh, sometimes uh, bone level implant fixtures that fall into the sinus cavities. But however, this tissue level uh, the, uh, the make us free from this kind of uh, fears cause of uh, auto stop uh, function the fixture itself. Okay. Uh, next, he is going to use the collagen membrane for a GBR procedure. The choose uh, the, uh, the bigger size, maybe uh, I think uh, 1.5 by 2 millimeter is uh, frequent use. the standard size for uh, the big uh, size GBR procedure. Okay. I think this one is 1.5 by 2.0 millimeter size uh, collagen membrane. Uh, this collagen membrane named as collagen membrane 2 upgrade version. Uh, this one is a uh, Yeah, uh, trimming the membrane. Yeah, trimming the collagen membrane for the proper adaptation of defect size. These collagen membranes fully optimize this uh, pin technique, like sausage and burrito, because of these uh, properties have uh, resilience. So. As you can see, the pin inserted areas never tearing, never tear when you use this pin or some uh, punches and small tap incision. It doesn't matter. Okay. There's a defect like uh, 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 almost a three world defect, two to three world defect style. So uh, this prognosis of uh, in future uh, newly forming bone situations, I think, uh, yeah, uh, better than the two world or one world situation. So. If we have precise and the gentle uh, GBR procedures, the following the textbook, uh, we can get the very nice newly forming bone the after maybe uh, six months later. Okay. If you want to have a successful GBR result, we have to consider about four the factors. Uh, Dr. Hong Lei Wang uh, from uh, the USA the suggested the past theory. Uh, you know the past theory, right? So past means the initial of important factor, P A S S, P primary closure, A angiogenesis. S, first S, the space making, and the second S, uh, the stability. The very important factor to make a successful GBR result. So now, Dr. Zhang, uh, using the pin for the fixation, it means the stability. The stability of the GBR site is important, one of the important factors to have uh, the successful the GBR result. So this pin is very useful and good tool to have uh, the fixation that gave us a stability, the site of GBR. Okay. Yeah. It is going to have a molleting fixation. Okay, very nice. 
uh, stable and the stability is the yeah we're getting this uh, GBL site with the uh, osteogenograft genograft material. The particulated bone and the collagen membrane the combination is a standard uh, mixture and standard protocol for the uh, GBR procedure. Okay, now he is using the number 20, uh, 12 scalpel for releasing incision. The separate periosteum from the upper, uh, the superficial layer of the flap cause of uh, give uh, free, give more the mobilities of the flap. Why? The, for the primary closure. As I mentioned before, the first P uh, primary closure. So uh, for getting the successful the GBR lizard, uh, we have to try the primary closure at this uh, GBR site, the bone grafted site. Okay, the after releasing in season, upper a uh, superficial flap, the upper layer of the flap is free from the periosteum, so the easy to move the upper side of the flap. So finally, uh, this procedure, the periosteal releasing in season, gave us uh, the primary closure. Okay, when you have a suture, the surgery site, the key suture uh, should be done uh, first. Okay, what is the key suture? Key suture means uh, the reposition, the flap, and the original position uh, before the surgery uh, the, to make uh, original position. The find out original position suture means key suture like this corner suture. Yeah, a little bit modify the flap, make a palachi style. The field with uh, this uh, soft tissues between number 24 implant fixture and number 25 the crown area. In future these uh, connective tissues will be uh, interdental papillar. The abundance of keratinized gingiva of labial site of this surgery site to make us this uh, palachi technique. This palachi, one of the rotational flap technique. Okay, uh, I think a uh, little bit a shortage of the flap, uh, anyway, uh, it's okay. The after key suture and the remnant of sutures the performed by one by one. Now he is doing the horizontal matrix suture on the bone grafting site. These horizontal matrix sutures are basic uh, suture the scale especially this kind of uh, a bone grafting area. To make uh, a primary closure, this horizontal mattress suture helping the contact to connective tissues each other side.
Let me try one more suture to make a proper position. So basically, suture technique is uh, based on the vector of the force, right? So the stitch and the position of the stitch and the, the needle point is very important to make uh, the force vector. So there are many uh, different kinds of suture technique to manage the flap. So, uh, that we need uh, learn and the practice the every day the daily like a uh, daily practice the cause of uh, the better make better situation after a uh, surgery okay he is making uh, the vertical incision site the suture. So he want to make a, a flap closure using this uh, suture technique on the line angle position. The already done by uh, the vertical suture, a uh, vertical incision area. We we'll keep the promise. Actually, yeah. I keep the security after the surgery is very important. The a procedure. I think uh, this one is almost final. This one will be a final suture. Okay, we have done upper left, number 22, from number 22 to number 24 areas, a big defect site, a surgery one implant fixation and the GBR procedure. The osteon geno graft and the collagen membrane too. The, all that came from dentium uh, product, brand new product was used for this uh, procedure. I believe uh, this GBR site will be a uh, good bone qualities after showing us about showing us good bone qualities about the six uh, months later. Uh, four months is too early. Uh, six is a standard, as you know. If you want more implantation about this site, uh, you can do at this time, at the time. Uh, uh, this materials, uh, PDRN, uh, this, the materials that promote the tissue healing. And sometimes we can see, uh, we can find out the faster bone forming uh, situation when we use this PDRN. Actually, we need more research and clinical uh, data and the evidence about the PDRN. However, the scheme as a surgeon, uh, this PDRN promote the tissue healing of the soft tissues and also the affect the newborn formation.
So some uh, the other surgeons, doctors, uh, this PDRN inject with uh, uh, graft materials. Uh, before the graft materials put the defect site, uh, some of doctors uh, mixed with the PDRN with the graft particulated graft materials. Yeah, some doctors, it's uh, easy to make uh, the PRF, and some doctors want to use the gross factors. Some doctors want to use like the PDRN, uh, different ways, but. The goal is the same, the faster and better newborn formation, right? So we're going to have uh, uh, the many different ways of trial as necessary part to make a good result. OK, he is moving to lower posterior area. Uh, the surgery plan was number 36 area and number 37 areas uh, installed the bright implant, uh, tissue level implant fixture. Okay, he is uh, using uh, number 12 a scalpel, like uh, a crestal incision and crabicular incision and the cross checking and make sure using this uh, the periodontal curette the oblique incisions this oblique incision is better compared to vertical cause of this oblique incisions easy to flip each other after surgery And the pleb, buccal pleb reflection. Yeah, very interesting. He is using the periodontal curette, the pleb reflection, and the cross checking, the incision line, a very versatile instrument, the periodontal curette, the for the Dr. Zhang. Okay, uh, at this time, uh, he make a horizontal incision instead of vertical. Uh, he want to conserve into dental popular number 34, 35 area. So just horizontal incisions, the prolonged until this number 34, uh, tooth area. And this horizontal incisions sometimes getting better for uh, the primary closure after the surgery procedure. And flip reflection, we can see this uh, defect area. This area was already installed with uh, the previous installed implant fixture, uh, which was uh, failed, and the ex extract explantations uh, two months ago. This uh, site is un not healed, not fully healed. So remove the granulation tissues using round bar before the osteotomy. And Dr. Zhang loves using this uh, round bar, the straight hand piece. It is defect uh, and shallow, so it is not a severe situation. So implantation with uh, simple bone grafting uh, will be performed. Okay, uh, Lindemann drill with uh, blue color uh, spacer, uh, silicone spacer. Is going to use. Okay. 
the Lindemann with the spacer. Uh, this spacer diameter, 9 millimeter, oh, 6 millimeter, sorry, 6 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six, six, seven is uh, the, the better and standard for the molar. Eight is uh, proper for the lower first molar. The ordinary six, seven, eight is uh, the proper diameter for molar area. Okay, so. Uh, he is uh, using the high-speed pressure bar cause of this uh, slope area have some the slope areas is easy to slip uh, the slippery area so sometimes Dr. Zhang with uh, like this high speed with a pressure bar to make a proper the osteotomy point and this uh, small round bar with high speed or Fisher bar high speed is better to make indentation for proper osteotomy. Cause of uh, 1000 or 15 RPM with the Lindemann is easy to slip. Sometimes uh, uh, the different, a uh, different, uh, the initial point uh, will be made. Yeah, can be made. So to prevent this kind of situation, Dr. Zhang was, Dr. Zhang is used the high speed bar, okay? And after that, to connect uh, using this, uh, using these uh, paneling pin, checking the pass and distance and direction. All the three dimensions of the positions can be checked by using this uh, pin. You can check again. Yeah, final drills are used. Uh, this final drill is brand new, like uh, uh, the Lindemann style final drill, the higher efficiency of uh, osteotomy, the remove, the reduction of the bone. Yeah, surgical, the final osteotomy drill, the Lindemann style. the higher efficiency to remove the reduction of uh, the bone. And sometimes we have two cautious when you use this kind of uh, Lindemann style final drill cause of too much, too higher efficiency of uh, the bone reduction. And sometimes it is widening the osteotomy site or too much uh, down world osteotomy uh, can be happen. Okay, after insertion, uh, he is uh, connected with the hand ratchet to placement of fixture. Uh, this fixture is uh, 4.0, 9 millimeter, the tissue level of a bright system. The wider diameter, like uh, 3.6, 3 4.0, 4.5 .0, of uh, bright uh, tissue level, the gross anatomy of uh, fixtures, the morphology of fixtures is totally different compared to supine and implantium system. Uh, this one is uh, belly style. The middle portion of the fixture is uh, wider than apical and the top portion, right? It means uh, I called this uh, shape the fat belly style. So this fat belly style design make a higher 
initial stability, even though the softer bone, and the even distribution when you have a final laceration with the occlusal loading, right? Okay, remove, uh, connect with the comfort cap. Uh, this, uh, this comfort cap working uh, as a dual function. You have a dual function working as a healing abutment and also working as uh, the scan abutment. Yeah, he has done uh, one implant fixture, number 20, uh, number 37 area. Now he is doing uh, another osteotomy on number 36 area. The RPM is slower, the 50 RPM. Yeah, he is choosing the bone level, the bright system. The cause of, uh, I guess, these areas need the bone grafting. So uh, he won't use bone level implant fixtures with a uh, buried. Yeah, he 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 want he want to bury the implant fixture on this site. So he is going to have uh, a bright bone level instead of tissue level. Okay, uh, the diameter is same, 4.0. Length is same, 9 millimeter. The ordinary, as you know, this molar area, the standard diameter, 4.5 or 5.0, right? The, however, this uh, bright system give me, give us a stronger a stability and strong the connection cause of uh, 10 degree, 3.7 deep connection of uh, bone level and the built-in type screw abutment style of the tissue level the both of them are both of them gave us stronger than the same diameter of uh, another system. So that is why, even though the molar area, Dr. Zhang is going to have a 4.0 diameter implant. Okay, connect with the covered screw. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, this one is also the osteo channel, particularly the bone. Did you see the defect on this 36 site? So Dr. Zhang have decided the right bone level with the GBR procedure. So first implant fixation and the bone grafting applied on the this uh, detect area and also the wrap around the ridge, wrap around the detect area with the uh, membrane, barrier membrane, the collagen membrane too, the resilient and never tearing when you use a bone tack. This membrane is optimized for a special procedure like a sausage and burrito. Okay, I think uh, he is also using the pin fixation. He is going to have a uh, pin fixation.
you will, you can, you are able to learn how can uh, deal with uh, this kind of uh, barrier membrane. How can fix? How can I fix uh, this membrane with a secure? How can we make a space maintain a stability for a successful GBR? Yeah, you are able to learn the today's surgery from today's surgery. Okay. The adaptation already fixed with the pin and the these membranes. Okay. Is starting with a suture. Now here's a starting suture technique, the after flap closure. Also, the key suture first. Yeah, horizontal mattress sutures. Sutures are performed. The horizontal mattress sutures. The help, the connective tissue contact of uh, each site. Over the GBR procedure, over the GBR site. The contact, the connective tissue direct uh, contact of each other side is very important to make a flap a closer, a secure. It is uh, one of important factor to make a good result of a GBR procedure, as I mentioned before. So a suture is very important part. Okay, once again, key suture and horizontal mattress suture over the grafted area is very essential part. And after that, the, you can get the additional suture to secure the primary uh, closure of the plant. Okay. And sutures are left, maybe uh, three, three stitch uh, more, three, th three stitches more. Okay, I think uh, almost done with today's surgery. Let's take a look at this uh, surgery site once again. The one implant fixtures on the 37 area with the 4.0 and the 9 millimeter implant fixtures, tissue level upright, connect with the healing cap.
comfort cap. Uh, this comfort cap have a dual function, scan and the healing. And the bone grafting with the bone level, a bright implant fixture. The Austrian Jenna was used as a grafting material. And the lab around hold this uh, defect and grafted site by collagen membrane too. This collagen membrane, the resilient, and long lasting also. The over than six months long lasting membrane is guaranteed the, the fully the newborn formation, full controlled newborn formation, like a, the full body of the wine, right? And nowadays, Dr. Zhang is frequently used a pin fixation technique for the uh, make, make a stability of GBR site. The, for me, actually, for me, pin and screw fixation is uh, the best, uh, the fixation the method. I frequently use first periostal suturing and a pin fixation. So once again, the stability, the immobilization of surgery site, this bone grafted area is very important. Uh, I think the very important situation, the immobility and the getting stability. Okay, and uh, I think uh, the both site surgery it was uh, well done. Okay. Thank you for watching uh, today's surgery. And uh, we will have uh, uh, break time and coming back in 10 minutes. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you.
Thank you for waiting. Now, uh, let's take a look at the result of the surgery. As you can see, this panoramic view shown us about the number 22 and number 23 areas of GBR procedures, bone grafting material with the collagen membrane, and also we can see the pin and number 24 area uh, bright tissue level implant fixtures uh, done this area. And also lower number 36, number 37 areas install the, the two implant fixture. Both of them are different system, a different uh, style. First, bone level, and the second is tissue level. The anyway, both of them are very well done, the proper position and good pass. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the Combim CT. As I mentioned before, 22, 23 defect areas uh, the field with the uh, osteon genal uh, graft material, the wrap around, lapping around uh, this ridge with the uh, osteon at the collagen membrane too, uh, a new version. And number 24 areas installed with uh, bright tissue level with a small bone uh, graft, uh, grafting, uh, small bone uh, graftings. And number 36 installed very well with uh, bright tissue level, bright bone level with the uh, bone grafting on the buccal side. And number 37, the bright tissue level with a small the bone grafting with the connect with the healing cap. Very nice, well done. And this one is actually, uh, this surgery was performed by Dr. Zhang the, almost the three weeks ago. Now, uh, move to the following up after surgery situation. The, let's take a look at the intraoral scan, uh, the view. Uh, this is scanning uh, from the, I think uh, this one is making this one is for to make a temporary the intraoral scan. As you can see, this year the undergoing the healing uh, procedure, the soft tissues, uh, the previous surgery site. So these areas a little bit flap open, but uh, we can see the uh, membrane underneath the flap. The, however, uh, these areas will be good healed. Okay, and number 24, connect with the healing cap. And this one is uh, the intraoral scan for temporary uh, setup on the CAD. So uh, this design going to the machine and uh, uh, we can make this uh, temporary with uh, the custom abutment and temporary PMMA with a custom abutment. So the deliver to our patient, number 24 provisional restoration looks like here. The very nice, good uh, situation, good the, the anatomies at good the emergency profile on vocal site. Okay, this one is 37 provisional restoration. 36, uh, still the buried underneath this uh, site cause of uh, bone grafting and only number 37 areas going to provisional restoration with uh, custom abutment cause of uh, these two things very important working for the patient. Actually patient first chief complaint was I want to restore the chewing uh, masticating function so, Dr. Zhang 
want to have uh, early the functioning the the feedback to the patient. So number 24 and number 37 was uh, delivered for the provisional illustration. The, the patient uh, was happy. Okay, so all of these uh, situations are uh, surgery and the following up situations are shown you. Okay, the, about the Q&A. Uh, one good question I hear. Do you have any tips for using collagen membrane tool on large defect? Okay, very nice, good question. When you have a large defect for the GBR procedure, uh, let's see the collagen membrane. Okay, before the introducing collagen membrane two, I want to say collagen membrane one, the previous version. This collagen membrane one is long lasting, over six months, long lasting type, good qualities uh, collagen membrane. And also, the last of clinical evidence for me, actually, for a long time. And also, another advantage is a stiffness. So, I prefer to use this collagen membrane one with the dry band technique. What is dry band technique? Dry band technique means without the saline soaking, without the blood soaking, just to break the package and then put it out uh, from the package. Uh, this uh, collagen membrane was uh, dried, okay? And then band. The band, like uh, one, two, three, uh, different angles, uh, band it for, like uh, actually uh, the titanium mesh style and the bending and uh, fix the defect. A very uh, good uh, procedures and tips. And then after that, the packing the bone graft materials underneath this uh, membrane. The osteon 3, osteon 3 grafted materials and osteon 3 collagens and sometimes the bovine bones and uh, any other grafted materials are secure underneath this uh, dry banded the stiff uh, collagen membrane. The, however, this new version, collagen membrane 2, is a very uh, the thin, little bit thin, thinner than the collagen membrane, the previous version, the collagen membrane 1, and the easy handling, and the soft. So it is optimized to the sausage technique, like a burrito technique. The, however, the big defect like this one, we need some apparatus, some devices to maintain the volume, maintain a space making. So if you want to use this uh, collagen membrane tool for big defect, should be added some another uh, devices for space making. So for me actually, uh, I uh, choose always Austin 3 collagen, like this uh, collagenized bone, is very simple and easier applied. This uh, Austin 3 collagen, the collagenized bone, make us uh, space, making, space maintaining. So uh, if you want to use this collagen membrane tool for a large defect, uh, should be choose like this uh, space maintaining devices, like as Austin 3 collagen or some other the devices. Austin 3 collagen is a uh, very simple and first choice uh, devices. And another, the which one else? Like a tenting screw also good devices to make a, a space maintaining, right? The make a tenting screw underneath the collagen membrane too, and the packing the bone particulated graft materials is also another good method. So, using the collagen membrane too, need some another devices to have uh, space maintaining. For example, tenting screws and osteon collagen like this collagenized bone, some any other uh, volume maintaining devices, right? And also, important, another important factor is the pin fixation is better for the collagen membrane too, right? Cause of this uh, softness, 
uh, this uh, pin fixation is better to uh, the space maintaining. Okay, so I explained about collagen membrane 1 and collagen membrane 2. There's uh, these two different types of collagen membrane have uh, different types of advantages. So depending on your style and depending on the defect size and your the bone grafting technique, you can choose either one. Okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching uh, today's surgery and the follow-up. And thank you for having me. Uh, let me introduce next live surgery. Next live surgery will be uh, uh, January 20th, okay, the same time, uh, 6 p.m. Now actually uh, the time, the Korean time is 8.30 until now. Thank you for watching uh, this today's Dentium live surgery show. Thank you.